the basic structure of membranes is that of a phospholipid bilayer, incorporating a number of other lipid molecules as well. The characteristics of membrane lipids is that they are amphipathic. That's the basis for a stable phospholipid bilayer. Amphipathic just means these are molecules that have a hydrophilic region at one end and a hydrophobic region. In the case of phosphatidylcholine and phosphatidylserine, which are two common phospholipids, you can see the hydrophobic end is, of course, the fatty acid tail. And the hydrophilic region can vary, but typically contains charged groups like nitrogens. Here you see nitrogens or even phosphates. Phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylcholine actually have both positively charged nitrogens, amino groups, as well as phosphates. We, we tend to think of cholesterol as being a health hazard, right? It, it deposits in coronary arteries and causes myocardial infarction, which means a restriction of blood flow, which leads to heart attacks. But cholesterol is, of course, important for a lot of cellular events, including the synthesis of steroid hormones. But it's also an important part of cellular membranes. And here's a glycolipid. In this case, it's a galactocerebroside, so it's an important brain cell lipid. But all cells have glycolipids, lipids with a sugar attached rather than a phosphate group. If you isolate pure phospholipids from cells and, or buy them off the shelf, you can mix them you can cause them to form spontaneous phospholipid bilayer vesicles called liposomes. And here's a picture from the electron microscope of, an, of actual liposomes made in a clear liquid. And the cartoon emphasizes the phospholipid bilayer structure of liposomes.